Today we have a new game improvement iron from Cobra. It is the Dark Speed iron. We're going to test it and review it with Mr. Kevin Kraft, who knows a thing or two about Cobra golf clubs. Stay tuned and we'll give you everything that you need to know about the Dark Speed iron. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined here by Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter for us at our Columbia store. Today we're here at the Minnetonka Tour van with the Dark Speed Iron from Cobra. Um, it looks a lot different than past Cobra irons, I think. So, um, what do you? What first jumps out at you when you look at that iron? It's so dark. So speedy. <laughs> dark and speedy. Yeah. I wonder where they came yes. up with the name. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, it's it definitely looks like a refined iron. Yeah, uh, they've they've made some significant size changes. Yeah, it's still a good game improvement size face, but gone is that really big thick sole. Uh, there's not as much going on you know, in the back, so when you set yeah. the seven iron down, you can't see anything kind of hanging right. off the back. Um, I love this new finish. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't I haven't seen a finish like that in an iron in some time. No, it's a very it's a nice matte finish, mm -hmm. right? So Chrome's been kind of the big thing over the last little bit, and they've said nope, we're, yeah. we're, we're not going Chrome on this one. And I, I actually really like the finish a lot. Yeah, I think so. There's really you know the Cobra irons are always delivering the distance. Oh yeah, and especially when it comes to this category, um, hollow body construction there, which obviously provides a certain level of explosiveness in any type of iron, right? Um, there's a refined power bridge in there. And so with that comes, um, it's like, it's kind of connected to the heel and toe and also to the back of the club too. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit different than the past generation, more stable, a um, little bit more explosive as well. And then uh, a power shell club face designed by AI. So we're kind of getting to that age in, in golf where a lot of these equipment parts are designed by AI. Um, and Cobra is the latest to kind of jump on the trend. And, and um, now they're optimizing the face design mm -hmm. by testing and using machine learning to do so. so. Yeah. We're at that point, and this is, again, and this is at 27 degrees of loft now, so last year was a 26 and a half, they actually went up in loft a little bit to 27, so. Um, maybe we'll see a little more spin? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I, that's kind of the thing that I've always noticed with their game improvement irons is, for sure, a ton of distance and yeah. ball speed, but the spin sometimes is a little low compared yep. to others, so we'll yep. see if that helped in that department as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll hit a few shots. We'll go back and forth, talk about feel, talk about performance. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so dark speed iron. Um, we'll hit a few shots here, just kind of discuss how the performance is yeah. overall. But you first put that down. We talked a little bit about the appearance already, but now I'd address, does anything else jump out at you? Um, it definitely, Frames the ball different with the with the new finish. Um, okay. I think it's I think it's actually maybe going to be a little bit easier to frame the ball the way really? the way you'd want. Um, I love the fact that we're not seeing anything jutting out from the from the backside. There, I don't know too many people that really do want that. Right. Right. So yes, it's forgiveness, but at the same time, this has got a lot of forgiveness yeah, in it. Yeah. They've cleaned and it up a lot. It's a more appealing look. Right. Mm -hmm. So. They've obviously taken that on. The the Aerojet iron was was better in that regard. Um, this is definitely better in that yeah. regard. So uh, it looks good. It looks yeah. good. Also should note the dark speed is available in like the one length and it's available in a women's um, spec as well. Yes. So. Yes. Cut the first one a little thin. Cut the first one thin and it went almost 200 yards. <laughs> so. <laughs> I like the spin though. I think it was more or less the same spin on both of those okay, shots. Okay, that's which is, good. It's interesting. Yeah. All right, hit one more, and I'll ask you about the. What do you think about the feel so okay. far? All right, so you're hovering just under like 125 ball speed. What do you think so far? I mean, it feels good. It's it feels responsive. It's not. It's a little harder than. You know, we tested some some bladey irons earlier. Yeah, yeah, right. And you know, it's a different metal, right? Yeah. And it's designed differently. So, yeah. um, not expecting it to feel the same as that. No, it's a little firmer feeling, but it feels good. It mm -hmm. feels solid. Feels very stable. Um, 
And it feels hot. Ball definitely feels like the ball jumps off the face. Yeah, you're seeing some pretty high ball speeds here. Um, kind of going back to that, that PowerShell AI yeah. face. It's yeah. um, delivering you some extra ball speed for sure. That's kind of where we're at yeah. with, again, I mentioned it, like equipment, AI, it's all part of it. Yeah, and I'm not even here right now. I just, I'm, this is all AI. It's a, yeah. You threw a... I'm actually at home in bed. It's a, it's a hologram. You didn't want to wake yeah. up at 2.15 this morning. I really didn't. You sent your AI-designed yes. clone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to hit golf shots when you're laughing. <laughs> uh, that was the glitch. Still hit AI. 175 in the air. Despite, that was an AI glitch. Despite that significant miss. There's a roasted golf shot there. That just, this, this thing feels great. Yeah. It really does. It feels, it feels really solid. Don't turn too much. Don't turn too much. It's not gonna turn too much. It didn't turn too much. Is that a little bit, maybe on the fat side? Yes. Just a little bit? Yes. Okay. Let's set uh, maybe one or two more here. Okay. That one was good. There's a part of me that just wants to stand here and hit this all day. Yeah, I, I can see why, because it's going Straight and far almost every time. So. <laughs> yep, that was blistered too. Okay. Okay. So let's check out that dispersion too. I gotta see whether I'm see how take good this out was. This guy here. Yeah. That was the one that you yep. just hit. Um, this is a thin one right away, but that was still solid. I mean. Yeah. You know, we'll keep it in there. We got eight good ones up Kay. there. Dispersion. There we go. I, so got no, you, I got no complaints. Well, because you play a little draw, right? I do. And with an iron like this, probably not workable, so that draw won't show up as much. But I'm, I'm loving how consistent everything was. Um, now, first of all, the ball's carrying a pretty consistent number here, anywhere from mm -hmm. probably 185 to 190 for the most part. And for a club like that, hitting it that far, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty darn good. Um, and then, I mean, an average plus or minus 2.5 on the variation of that carry distance. And total was 3.2 at averaging 200. Um, the spin, thoughts on the spin rates here. We're at about mid to high 4,000s for the most part. This was another one that was kind of fat that we could yeah. maybe remove Yeah, that one for could that, probably but, go, yeah. So um, let's say mid, you know, 4,500-ish. So it's going to kind of depend on the individual. Yeah. Right? So uh, I hit the ball pretty high. Average height was, what, one? Oh, I got to scroll over. 108. Huh, 108. Okay. So plenty high. So enough. I'm getting plenty of height, yeah. right? So landing angles at 476. The the issue is when we have such strong lofts and clubs that are designed not to spin a ton, are we able to get good control dynamics? Spin, height, and landing angle, right? So uh, for some people, this kind of configuration may not work as mm -hmm. well. Um, there are options for us to go and make some adjustments to this. We can take some, a little bit more loft off of it to give it a little bit more, more trajectory. Right. Um, that's one of those things where you're going to, when you go in for a fitting, you know, your, your fitter should be really focusing on spin height and landing angle. Yep. Distance is great, sure. right? Yep. Distance is awesome. We want to get you the distance you're looking for, but we need to have good control with it. If we're not yeah. getting good control with it, we're not doing you a, a very good service. So, um, yeah, I didn't expect this to spin a ton. Right. And, and I actually, I'm actually, and, I think it's, it is more than last year. If I remember, I haven't, we haven't yeah. done the head to head test arrow jet versus dark speed. Mid, I think it's a little higher than before. Okay. So. Mid four thousands is, you know, f you know, for me with this club is fine. Uh, but again, individual results may vary. And yes. I definitely want to make sure that anybody that's coming in for a fitting, we're going to hit those hit you know, as close as possible to our to our, our right. numbers there. Dex, right? Yep, uh, exactly, exactly. So I think it's I think that was good. Some good testing there. Um, yeah. Quick one. You got just one iron model. Yeah. But nonetheless, I think we saw a ton of ball speed. Um, yeah. Pretty consistent performance, too, for you. Um, yeah. I think we can wrap it up with our final thoughts. Feels good. I, I think oh, yeah. it, I, I, I was quite pleased with the overall look, feel, sound of everything, being kind of sensitive about these sorts of things. And yeah, uh, yeah if we can get good consistency on an iron like this, hashtag winning. <laughs>
All right, Kevin, testing complete there for the dark speed iron. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, general feedback on the testing again. I know we talked a lot about it already, and then also kind of describe the golfer that will best fit into that iron. Yeah, overall it was uh, it was solid. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, it really was solid. The, the face feels really good, very stable, uh, fast mm -hmm. as we would expect. Right. Um, yeah, it's going to be for the the mid to higher handicapper typically. Um, could be for a newer golfer with uh, with a lot of speed. Yeah. Right. Um, sure. Sure. Yes, yeah, so it's got really good forgiveness to it. I like the refinements. I like the finish. You know, it's 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 so dark you can't see me. Um, and uh, and it's it's good. I, I think yeah. it'll, I think it'll I think it'll do well for somebody who's got got enough trajectory. Yeah. To to deal with the spin. Which there are a lot of players out there that might be. Maybe they have a big slice with their irons or something sure. like that, and yeah. they're maybe cutting across the ball, yep. and there's a ton of spin on that thing. Yep. Um, this is an iron that's going to straighten that out for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, also it'll, probably it'll hit the ball anyway. a heck of a lot farther, too. Yes. So yes. For those players. There's a lot out there that are in this category. Um, I know you, we talked about it already, but if you are a player that doesn't quite get enough height on mm -hmm. irons, this would be, that might be like a red flag for this one in particular. Or in maybe, right? Yeah, There's, yeah. There are some ways we can, we can tweak it, right? Yeah. We're never completely stuck. There are, if, if, if somebody came in, tests the irons and said, ah, oh, I love this, yeah. right? Then we've, we've got some ways that we can, we can try to get a little more spin out of mm -hmm. it, a little more height out of it so that we can keep those control dynamics in sure. play. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it was, Clearly, it's it's nothing different from Cobra in this category. Hot, it's fast. That's why they call it dark speed. It's got the darker finish, as Kevin is is looking closely at right now. Um, but schedule that fitting for dark speed. You're going to hit the ball farther. You're going to hit the ball probably straighter as well. Mm. Uh, and then, uh, you know, someone like Kevin in the fitting bay is going to uh, get you dialed in. And uh, if that requires some tweaks to loft or tweaks to the length, that can be done. But uh, make sure you schedule that fitting. Uh, learn more about the Cobra Dark Speed Irons at secondswing.com. And uh, I guess lastly, Kevin, thanks for providing all the data and the yeah. information today. This it's is great. good stuff. It's, uh, I'm, I'm excited to see this one in the, in the base.